What is up, Facebook world? It is your girl, Mindy C, coming at you on a Sunday night. Happy Labor Day, first of all. Let's get that out of the way. And I am Mindy from Michigan, and if you are live with me, you'll see that red live button up there. You're on the live stream with me. If you're not, if you don't see that red button, that's okay, too. Um, say hi, hello, I missed you, and I'll come by and say hello in the comments. So, I'm just... Chilling on a Saturday night. I took a impromptu trip um, about two and a half hours, three hours away from where I live to, I live in Michigan. So I went to Holland, Michigan, where there's lots of foliage and plants and they have a tulip festival when the tulips are blooming. Um, hey Mary Jo, hey Lynn, how are you doing? Hey Patrina, nice to see you. Hey Mary, nice to see you. So I just got home. So I... Um, went for like 24 hours, went to Holland, Michigan, bebopped around a little bit, and, and then I stopped at some health food store, and I found some keto stuff, so I picked up some um, new items that I did not have on hand. Hey, Angela, how are you doing? Hey, Susan, nice to see you. What's going on, Chris? And I'm having a drink. I got some, um, I don't know what I got in here. I got like blueberry moonshine and... I think that I put a Truly in there too, so I like double dipped into my cup. So that's what I'm doing on a Sunday night on my holiday. I don't have to work tomorrow, so that's good. So I want to show you what I found. So I went to this, it, it was called Nature's something, I don't know, it was a Nature's Market. So it was one of those health food stores, so usually every town has them. If you, I, We have one here too. So I picked up these raw coconut butters, so you just, you need them. They're, it's almost like a nut butter. They're really super duper duper good. So I picked up a couple packs. I already ate one in the car. These have um, three carbs in them. So this whole package will be three carbs, but it has 20 grams of fat. So that's uh, like a fat bomb. A fat bomb and a little... So there I go. I picked up a couple of those so I can throw them in my purse. Hey Steven, how are you doing? Hey Tammy, what's going on? I got some keto cookies. So I've gotten these this brand before in my keto crate delivery. This is called Lenny and Larry. So this health food store had everything and anything you can imagine with keto and healthy healthy stuff, other stuff like that. This is um, chocolate chip cookie. I've made my own chocolate chip cookies, but it's nice to have them so I can have them every once in a while. I can grab and go. So I got some... Keto cookies by Lenny and Larry's with three grams of net carbs for one cookie. So that's not too bad. Um, I got these things called flackers. So I picked up three packages of them. So different flavors. These are flaxseed crackers. Hey Chassie, how are you doing? Flaxseed crackers, you guys. I've never seen these before, so I picked them up, and I've already opened them because I can never wait. But they're like little, they're like little seed crackers. I call it bird food. That's what I call it. So they're okay. They're pretty good. So something different. I've never had. So I'll have every once in a while. I have those, but it's like I don't know. They're like they're seeds. They're flax seeds, like binded together. So it was cool. I bought that. And let's see what else do I got. I got these. So these are the like the the keto version for Swedish fish. So these are by um, Kick Sugar Keep. I don't even know who these are by. But these have. Um, let me see what the carb count. Three grams. Three grams of carbs for your Swedish fish. So I've got those. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Hey, George, what's going on? I have just got in from a little weekend getaway. Well, it was like a one day. I went to Holland, Michigan, about three hours away, just to bebop around. And I got some new keto finds. Here's another one. I, and I got this all at the same market. It was like a health food store. So um, always go to your local health food store because they usually have a lot of these things on hand that the grocery stores don't have. This, These are kale chips. So ranch, cool ranch flavor. So I haven't opened these up yet. So kale chips. So that's something new. I've had kale chips before. But let me let me grab another drink. 
Hey Shay, what's going on? Hey Shelly, what's going on? Hey Lynn. I'm having a drink. And I'm showing you what I bought at my nature food store. I got some um, blueberry moonshine. I don't know where. I stopped at a distillery and they were selling moonshine there. Their own moonshine. So I bought a couple jars. These are... Um, Lakanto monk fruit extract drops. So, you know, some some recipes call for like liquid stevia where you put drops in them. So I bought these. I don't have that. So uh, extract drops. So you'll obviously probably use less of this stuff because it's concentrated or something like. So I got that. Some Lakanto um, sugar extract. And I got these cute little things, too. These are bone broths. But see how little? I've never seen them made. Um, these are an eight. So this is exactly one cup. So they come in their own little package. I got chicken with ginger and chicken with lemongrass. So they're kind of flavored. So I picked these up because I thought they were cute. And I always open up a bone broth and never use the whole thing because I'm only making one recipe. So I thought these were great because these will be, you never use like more than a cup normally in recipes. Hey, Omni, how are you doing? Hey, Cheryl, nice to see you. What else did I get? I got some hemp powder protein. So this is by um, Bob's Red Mill. So he's, he's in most grocery stores also. He's got his whole brand there. But I've never seen the hemp protein powder. This has, mm, for a fourth cup, this has two carbs so hemp protein powder i don't know what i can make with this yet but for two carbs for a fourth cup that's pretty good that's that's just like almond flour two carbs for a fourth cup so that's pretty good hey kathy how are you doing those are what they, those are great to make vegetables with the, the protein powder well, I don't know which one you're talking about. Let's see. Avocado oil. So I like to keep that on hand too. So I thought it came into a cute little canister. Now, a lot of these items at the food store, the nature stores, um, they're a little more expensive. So that's what you're going to get when you go into one of those specialty health food stores. These items are going to be more money. So that's the only difference. I got some sugar replacements. I got xylitol so sometimes recipes call for xylitol in the recipes and i'm sure it's just the same as like the monk fruit i'm not really sure but i got some xylitol and i got some erythritol also so that's another sugar replacement but they're actually that's what the name says on there so i'm going to try them see what they're like another sugar replacement sometimes recipes have all different names in the recipes. Like you can, if it says erythritol, you can probably use monk fruit or um, swerve, whatever your favorite brand is. Hey Ruth, how are you doing? Hey Kathy, how are you doing? I'm having a Saturday night drink and showing my keto finds. Mm -hmm. um, I got some moon cheeses. So I've got these ones in, let me see. I think I got them in my cupboard here. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. I don't think I got them in here. Well, oh, yes, I do. No, no, I don't. Wait. I do. I do. I have them. Okay, so I have the moon cheese and cheddar. I don't even know if this is the same company or not. Um, I don't think it's the same. But these are called moon cheese, but these are Gouda. So I've never seen the Gouda flavor before, so I picked up some of those also. So that's what I got on my road trip. And if you're not from Michigan, I went about three hours on a little road trip. Holland's like um, a Dutch community. So they do a tulip festival, they have windmills, they have, and they have like wooden shoes, you know, like they wore, wore over there in Denmark or and I got these cute slippers. So they're like, they mimic a wooden shoe, but they're slippers. So from Holland, Michigan. So that's what I did. I took a little quick little 24 hour trip and got some keto stuff and won a little bit of money on some lottery. Um, 
Yes, Sandra. How are you doing, Sandra? Nice to see you. Hey, Susan. Nice to see you. Hey, Rachel. What's going on? Did I miss? Hey, Bev. What's going on? Hey, Becky. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Kathy. Um, there we go. I think I got it. I'm sorry if I missed you. But yeah, that's what I'm doing on a Sunday night tonight. Drinking blueberry moonshine and one of those like low calorie seltzer, the Trulies or the Smirnoff or one of them. And I'm just showing you my keto find. So I just picked all of this up at a natural nature's market. It's like a natural health food store. So they've got all the healthy stuff in the store. But it was the largest one that I had ever seen. And it had grocery items in there too, like organic fruits and vegetables and stuff so that was cool so i got some cookies i got some sugar replacements and again when you shop in these health food stores you guys these they're more expensive i'm just gonna put it right out there the health food all natural you're gonna pay for it because it's it's a better quality of product so you're getting organic you're not getting any chemicals or anything like that so that's the trade-off you get so I don't always shop in the health food stores. I usually buy from like Meijer, Costco, Sam's Club, Walmart, Kroger's. Um, but I sometimes I go to the nature stores and I get um, items that I can't find in my grocery store. Um, yes, yes, these are awesome, Denise. I got some really good finds. I got some moon cheese, Gouda flavored, so I haven't tried those. Well, they're not Gouda flavored, they're actual cheese. So, one carb, 14 pieces is one carb out of these moon cheeses. I got avocado oil and these cute little bone broths. It's one cup portions, I love that. Uh, moon cheeses are great, even the, where did I put it? There it goes. I'm, I lost the moon cheese. So the cheddar ones are really good too. So I bought these ones at Costco. So I found them at TJ Maxx also before. That's when I first had them was at TJ Maxx. I bought them and I thought they were so good. So they're like little cheese puffs. These have one carb for 67 pieces. So the Gouda ones, you know, you can have 14 pieces for one carb and this one you can have seven pieces for one carb. So um, that's pretty good, it's still good. I throw them on my salads and stuff or munch on them. Really good. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate you sharing. Yep, and then I got my Swedish Fish. So I bought this brand before. So they're pretty good. They make some other candies too. Um, I'm trying to see the... Um, it says this company is owned by a woman. Woman owned, it says. So Kick Sugar Keep Candy. So I don't know what the name, but Swedish Fish, you guys. Got some monk fruit. That's my favorite brand of sugar replacement to buy, the monk fruit. I don't know if you guys, I buy Swerve too. I buy them all really. I try them all. But the Lacanto monk fruit is my favorite sweetener to use. And so that, so that's the extract to it now. And these raw coconut butters, you guys, I've never even, it's so good. So it's a great fat bomb snack. So if you're looking for, if you like coconuts. Hey Darcy, how are you doing? Hey Colleen, what's going on? Hey Carol, nice to see you. So just going over some weekend finds. I went over across uh, about three hours across Michigan to a little Dutch town that um, they have lots of cool stuff in there. And I just seen a nature store and I'm like wanting to stop there. And I got some cool things. These are flaxseed crackers. And um, I got three different flavors, but they're like bird food. They really are. See, they're just seeds that are together, but that's what it reminded me of. I thought I was a bird when I was eating one because, but they're good. They're good. They're good. Uh, yeah, monk fruit is my favorite. I, because the, the swerve has that, um, after you eat swerve, you, you kind of, I always say like the menthol taste. Like after you take a drink of water, like that, like it, it's in your mouth. I don't like that. So the monk fruit doesn't do that. So I like, that's why I like the monk fruit. So if I, if I eat too much of the swerve, then I get that, that taste and I'm not really big on that. But I, I still use swerve. So I keep it up there also. But I like the monk fruit the best. That's my favorite. 
Hey, Crystal, how are you doing? Hey, Shelly. But yeah, these are all my finds, you guys. I got the, the hemp protein powder. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I'm hoping it's going to be like, um, let's open it up. I don't even know what it, if it looks like a flower or not. Okay. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, it's like brown. Or, yeah, it's like brown or something. Yeah, looks like sand, but we'll see. We'll see what we can cook with it. Excellent source of fiber and iron in this too. The hemp protein powder, right there. So two carbs for one fourth cup in that. So I've never even seen that before. So if anybody has used this in a recipe before, message me, let me know um, if you have any recipes that have ever called for the, the hemp protein. That's pretty cool. All right, let me get that open. But yep, those are my finds, you guys. So um, I'm going to continue to drink my Blueberry Moonshine. That was another thing that I got when I was out of town. Um, it was this, uh, like, distillery. They had a little bit of a, a, a little small restaurant, but they made their own moonshine, Michigan Moonshine. So I got a couple bottles and brought it back with me, and I'm sipping on some Blueberry Moonshine right now. So it's really, really good. It tastes like fresh blueberries. Um, uh, you can, oh, oh, you can add this stuff in shakes. Oh, all right. All right. So you can put it in shakes for protein boost. Add to baked goods, pancake batter, or oatmeal, it says. Mix it up. Oh, they've even got some recipes on the back too. So maybe we'll have to make some recipes. Um, all right, you guys, that's all I got for you. If you're just tuning in, I just did a little a nature health food store so if you're looking for a little more variety and this ketogenic low carb lifestyle always be sure to check out your local um, health food store because um, they'll have a lot of the stuff on here that they don't have in grocery stores I know ours here carries like the bread they the like the zero carb bread bagels and um, cookie mixes and so all of those good stuff but it's it's more expensive. So that's why I don't go there and shop very often because, you know, I'm already buying my regular foods and cooking my regular foods. I don't want to spend an arm and a leg on every single month. So in order for me to sustain what I'm doing, I still have to be realistic about my money. You know what I mean. That's all I got for it, you guys. Um, thank you, Don. I'm going to get off here and I'm going to keep drinking and I hope you guys are having a cocktail on this Labor Day weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in guys. Bye.